you guys hear some talking right now, it's because there are someone right outside that door right there. We're about to get concrete poured outside. So I thought, what better time when there's machinery running in outside to do a mail episode? And we've got some mail to go through here. This is some stuff from a few weeks ago. I've actually gotten fairly behind on mail time because of taking most of May off. So if you sent us any mail in the last two weeks, it's at the post office and we're gonna be getting it tomorrow. But this is what we've got now. We've got a few packages here and uh, I thought we would open them up here with you guys. Where do we start at, Clark, man? Amazon? Okay, I'll slide these ones out of the way. These two actually go together. I know who these are from. These are from, no, these are from Christopher Mitstifer. There was one hint that he gave us, and that's that this is not Lego inside here. Yes. So I told him, get it out. I'm just kidding. I told him, that's awesome. We'll open it anyway. We get the official slice. Shring! And then this one opens up, and we'll read the card on top of it. Maybe this says, Greg and Clark, not Lego. Spoiler alert, but still something cool. You can guess which one is for who, from Christopher Mitzifer, Darth Gorgira, 80. All right, so you open that one, I'll open this up, and we'll figure out whose is whose. But to me, it looks like it might be a Funko Pop. I know what this is. What is it? It's a Transformer Funko Pop. Oh my goodness. Let's see what this one is. Also a Funko Pop. We'll figure out whose is whose. I got Optimus Prime. Here you go. We traded? That's yours and this one's mine. You're claiming Optimus? Man, this is awesome, Brad. Chris. This is awesome, Chris. Thank <laughs> Chris, you. Sorry, Chris. We actually do have a package down here from Brad, which I think got Clark Man confused, but this is the Funko Pop Soundwave, and we also have Optimus Prime. I'm a little <coughs> concerned. Bless you. Clark's allergic to Funkos, by the way. I'm a little concerned about opening these because I feel like there might be some value here. <coughs> Bless you! <laughs> Sheesh! But anyways, thank you Chris, Chris, not Brad, for sending these over our way. We should uh, put these on display. What do you think, Clark? No! Are you opening these? Yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah! Oh, it hurts! It hurts me. Right through that one. Ouch. <laughs> not even a respectful opening either. Octopus Prime. Look at that dude. <laughs> Completely open, the way I guess he was meant to be. And uh, we'll open Soundwave too. You've convinced me, Clark, man. This one's in like a plastic case, which I've just completely destroyed. And inside, we have ourselves Soundwave. You guys haven't watched Transformers in your life. You need to make it a part of your life. Let's get the comparison between the two of them. Oh, he's on the floor. It's a Perk Tech video. It's a Funko Pop video. There you go. We got Soundwave. We have Optimus. I would say the start of a collection, but I cannot financially, probably, and space for sure afford to get into Funko Pops because these are just going to consume our lives. But uh, it's nice to have a couple of them on display. So thank you, Christopher Mitstifer, for sending these over. Can I put them on display now? Now that they're out of the box. No! <laughs> I think Clark Man may have stolen my Funko Pop that was intended for me. But that's okay. We'll just go ahead and uh, clear the space off here. Bye bye! For our next operation. This one here is from Brad. And this is a heavy ah. one. <laughs> Optimus died. <laughs> he lived a short life, but a good one. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Decepticons always win. Okay, well, Clark Man's taking a quick time out here for a tissue break. Why don't we open this one up real quick? Little little packet. This is actually, uh, it says to Greg's World and Greg and Clark. So I have no idea what channel to open this on. So I'll just open it here since we're in the process of doing a video. And inside here, let's make sure it doesn't show someone's address. It doesn't, thankfully. We'll uh, just shred into this. And... There's a gift in here, Clark, man. Oh, this says, hello, Greg and Clark. My name is Rudy. I am 18 years old. I live, he's actually eight. I live in Ireland. I love Hot Wheels and Lego. Sounds similar. I'm giving Clark some Hot Wheels cars. I like to play Minecraft and Rocket League. Is this the same person as you? I have four goldfish. Go ahead, you can open that up. I have four goldfish. They're called Finn, Bubbles, Aqua, and Splash. The Hot Wheels are new 2020 cars and some extra things. Love Rudy McBeerty from Ireland. 
turn over to see my picture. Oh, he's got a creeper on here, Clark man. Whoa, oh man. That's better than my creepers. He's eight. He's doing a good job with the artist tree. Clark man is talking some Hot Wheels from Ireland. What is this? It's a pencil. A oh, pencil cap. It says I Shamrock Ireland. I like that. Oh man, look at this car. Is it sick? Yeah. That's like a 57 Chevy all jacked up. Oh, it's a big air, bell air. That's pretty neat. What's that Whoa. one? Oh, is that Luke's land speeder? And we've got an Irish red setter for Whoa. the fridge attack. Can you crank that open and I will put this on the fridge for Rudy coming all the way from Ireland, sending us mail. He's going right under Canada. Not exactly uh, geographically accurate, but looks sweet nonetheless. Oh, snap. Luke's land speeder. Lego should make that into a set. It'd be amazing. Yeah. Rip, let's get into this next one here. For Mr. Root. Oh! Hot Wheels! Hot it can wheels. be dangerous opening Hot Wheels. Ow. Where is it? <laughs> there it is. Ta da! Okay. Clark. Oh, God. Ah! Everything bad is happening in the world right now, Clark, man. Everything's falling. Rudy, thank you for the Hot Wheels and the package all the way from Ireland and the beautiful wrapping paper. Oh. Now, we'll get into Brad's package. Possibly. Soundwave is recovered. Just when you thought this collection couldn't get any better, we come over here and we crack into Brad's package that he sent. No idea what's in here. I think it's uh, might be lead weights, maybe some rocks. It's nine pounds and 11 ounces. This thing was like as big as you when you were born. Here we go. First thing I'm seeing here, I bet there's a note. We finally got it, boys. It's the Roxy Bear Sig Fig. And speak of the devil, there she is. Let's do a comparison. Not quite the scale, but I think it's pretty darn accurate. We got the Boo Bear. Her spidey senses must be tingling as she goes through the other stuff. She's like, hmm, what'd you put in here, Brad? Oh my gosh. Oh my Brad! Oh my Brad's! Whoa! You he sent little... me those things I always wanted. You got a little poop. I got poop with, wi with wings. If you Goomba lovers out there are wondering, Clark calls these poops. I'm gonna move this knife before somebody uh, Goombas, other than me gets Goombas are ca called poops. Are you sure about that? They're poop doops that's what Clark calls them. And each time I go on the potty to go poop, I'm like, oh, I dropped a Goomba. <laughs> Thanks for that. I'm sure Brad appreciates that one. Do we start with the absolutely everything you need to know, Stacks of Lego Facts, which is a book, and you get to build a little spaceship out of it. We got another book. Oh, Sugar Shack. This one has the orange minifig in there. You see it up there by his hand? Yeah. That is awesome, and I've been wanting this forever. Check this out, Clark, man. If you open this up, and you come inside here, this has mini figs, mini figs, mini figs. This is like your book that was destined for you. Thank you, Brad, so much. I love mini figs. You think he knew? Yeah, he knew. I, I think he probably oh, knew. Oh, there's the red astronaut, my favorite one. Dude. I can't wait to go through all this. Let's look at the other book really quickly here. I know you're anxious to get into the rest of the stuff here. I see nuts and stuff in Should we? <laughs> okay, let's just go over here. What? what oh. Here we got some openings. This is, I think, where a lot of the weight was. We've got some Mega Omega Trail Mix. This will be nice when we're out hiking this summer. I think Clark Man's more interested in all what? of the blind bags what inside here. What are these? Here. You haven't seen those? No. Those are the Looney Tunes CMFs. What? Why? Did I not tell you about that? No. I actually have one in that box over there. There's going to be another haul video, which you may have already seen before this comes ah, up. Octopus! Right? <laughs> How many times can one this fall in a video? Sheesh. they got to build these Funko Pops better, eh? So we got a whole bunch of Looney Tunes CMFs. Roxy is investigating heavily. Do you smell, do you smell Bugs Bunny in there? Do you smell <laughs> Bugs Bunny? <laughs> we got three of those. Whoa. We got... Oh, did you get a patch? Mm hmm Oh, that's like an army patch, eh? Mm -hmm. Does it stick? Here, turn around once. Put it on your shoulder. Come over here. Oh, man. You're legit now. Look at this dude. Pretty epic. <laughs> 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 
We got some more in here though. You got the member of the Zane mech that we compared to Grimlock. This is like the little poly bag version of that. So this is uh, uh, like a Lego action figure, basically. And then we've got more Mario guys here as well. And last but not least, those are those are great. But this is something that I really needed. These are VIP screws. And if you guys don't know the backstory on this, let me show you. I didn't realize this when I made the video on it, but one of my coins is missing a screw. And Brad somehow was able to find ones that match it up, apparently. So let's uh, let's try to do this. We'll see if we can make it work. And I'll do that while Clark, man, you want to open up those Marios? Yeah, but see what how do I open them up? Oh, I should probably cut them for you, hey? And you rock with the scissors. There, there's a slice for you on that. Yeah. I'll go into this. Can you guys see what's happening over here? Oh, wait. wait Who did we get? I think I don't know. I <laughs> Coming to soon to a Brick Deck channel near you. I still don't know who it is. I still don't know who it is. I still don't know who it is. I know, who, I know who it is. Who is it? It's the Goomba. See? Oh, with the parachute on top. Yeah, this is a new series. I don't know if you guys could see this or not, but uh, this is series two. And we just secured, as it stops focusing in Clark's face, we just secured the Goomba with the little parachute up there. Or the poop, if you want to call him that. I've got my... How do I build him? Oh, there should be instructions in there, probably. On this, maybe. Sheesh, this badge is awesome. You like that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, let me see how I look with the badge. Dude, that, like, I think I never looked better. Check out that wolf badge. <gasps> oh, I bet there was a note with this, maybe. Did we miss a note? <laughs> Brad, I don't know. Here's your instructions. I'll go, I'll go on the hunt for a note here once we get this thing fixed up here. I don't know where Brad found these at, but he messaged me and said that he had found a, a replacement screw for me. I reached out to Lego on this, and they said that they they couldn't do it for me, so they refunded my VIP money, but uh, I would really like to have that in there, and holy smokes, it's absolutely perfect. At least it feels that way. You guys will have to be the judge of it. I on this, actually. Check that out, Clark, man. I ah, it's focus! You can't even tell. We'll put that back there, and boom. Thank you, Brad, for fixing me up, man. That was very triggering to the OCD detectors out there, including myself, but it's all good. So if anybody needs any screws, I've got some extra ones. Hit me up. Well, Clark, man works on that, I'll open this one. I wonder who you're going to get. We're going to find out. And I'm really interested in this parachute. I like how they made it. It's kind of cool, huh? Yeah, it's like a baby parachute. I got... You got the baby! Oh, shoot! I got the shy guy with the propeller head. Yes. Aww. Did you want to build this one? I love propeller heads. Did you want to build this one? I don't know. Want me to open the other one? Yeah. Okay, I'll open the other one here. And you can pick which one you want to build. We've got one last one here. <laughs> I wonder if you can work with the Mario app. Yeah, they do. They really do. He has a thing on his back there. All right, this one we've got... Let's see. Come out. we got to do a better job of cutting these. What did I get? What did I get? Oh, I got this little dude. I don't know what his name is. Let me show you. Oh. I almost have all the pieces out here. Please hold. One of these days. Got this little dude down here. Not sure what his name is. But I will... He kind of looks like a ghost. Very cool, dude. Let's pretend that here isn't there and that ever piece right there. Clark Man goes into the Shy Guy. Like you Shy Dad. You want me to open this up? Shy Guy is my guy. We're making one heck of a mess here, though, guys. It's getting a little out of hand. Ooh, this guy's looking a little scary. Booyah. Let's get a comparison here between these two. You guys can pick which one is your favorite, but I think the best one... Is right here, Clark Man's working on it. I was gonna open these up, but we have to leave for school in like five minutes. So I'm gonna save this for its own individual video because I actually bought one for myself too. So we'll do like a four pack opening and hopefully they're all different. I will open Roxy Sig Fig though. We have obviously have enough time for that as Clark Man finishes up his last little build there. This is quite the care package though, Brad. We really do appreciate this, man. Yeah, and thank you for the nuts and stuff. Oh yeah, should we do a uh, taste test? Maybe. I have enough time for that if you want to try them. This looks like something that uh, mom would buy because it looks fairly healthy. We get the ones with like the the peanut M&Ms and like the raisins and the really probably more sugary than it should be stuff. 
but this is uh, this is probably what we actually need to be eating. This has a uh, oh, Roxy's making an appearance. <laughs> Let's see what you can have out of here. How about would you like a little walnut? Of course. <gasps> there are some uh, cranberries in here. I want cranberries. Oh, here's everybody. You want some cranberries? Mm -hmm, I love cranberries. Okay. Are they dry? Yeah. Well, dry I cranberries. Love dried cranberries. There you go. I love dried cranberries. Mm. One thing though, what? don't choke on it, because this is the Brad who sent you the caramels that you almost choked on and died. Still alive? All right, Brad, he survived this one. We're moving up and in the that, world, baby. It was super big, so that's why I choked on it. <laughs> yeah, he, you guys didn't see the last video that Brad sent us a package in. Clark tried eating an entire giant chocolate caramel, or caramel, and uh, he kind of almost choked. He may have died. So Brad tried killing Clark, man. That's the running joke that we always have. These are good. Mm. Yeah, and I do not like the joke. I feel like it, it makes Brad sad and he hates okay. us. Okay, we'll stop doing the joke. We know that Brad wasn't actually trying to kill Clark. He wasn't trying to uh, assassinate him with a chocolate caramel. What can I get you, Bear? You want to try a little pineapple? What can you get me, Dad? What would you like? A little pineapple for you, too? Mmm. I want a little pineapple. There you go. I want some apple. Welcome to Eat Detect. Oh, there's cranberry at the end of it. Bonus. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Put this back here. Just Look at our table, though. Holy smokes. This table is crazy. Shy guy is almost complete. Let's take a look at. You're shy guy. Okay, you're shy guy. Um, what is oh, it? Snap. Mech? Is it mech book? It's about everything, Clark. Man. About me fixing Oh my stuff? gosh, we're getting the new version of this here. Coming soon. Oh, I regret passing on that. Urgh! Hurts my soul, Clark. Man. What's wrong? Oh my gosh. Passing but, on what? Uh, the DeLorean. What, where's the DeLorean? Uh, well, it's not in our house. Brickstar has that. I wanted to, I wanted to see that it on the book. The DeLorean? Oh, I don't even know how beautiful it is right there. Right there? Yeah, it's a DeLorean. Oh, man. It's from Back to the Future. Mm-hmm. Look Jenkins. at this. Oh, snap. Let's line them up here. We'll see how it looks together. Oh, yeah, man. Now. That's pretty darn cool. Clark's going back into the snacks. What a care package. Once again, from Brad. Classy fella sending us reading material. Look at that. We got mini fig books. We got snacks. We got Mario characters. Mm -hmm. We got Looney Tunes CMF to be continued in a future video. We got Brad's patch. Let's see if it sticks to Chocolate Labs. <laughs> it actually does a little bit. And just an overall really nice package of things to send, including the Roxy Bear Sig Fig and the pin or the bolt screw, whatever it is for my missing coin. Thank you to Chris, Rudy, and Brad for yeah. all of this stuff today. You guys are some classy fellows with the Funko Pops and the other stuff as well. Thank you to everyone that watched this video and a special thank you to anyone that sent us mail in the last two weeks or so. I'm picking it up tomorrow from the post office. I promise I'll be making videos on it and we'll get it all caught up here. Oh, mail time again, yay! That is if someone sent us something, if there's nothing at the post office, then there won't be one, but. You know, that's always a, a mystery when you go there, and it's always a surprise to see what's there, and a very nice surprise it is indeed. So thank you guys all for watching. Hope you have a glorious rest of your day, and we'll see you in the next video. But thank you, guys. Now I just need a volunteer to clean this mess up. No! Roxy! <laughs>